hello everyone and welcome to mathematics so today we talk about a very typical and a very important discussion it's all about uh, that the congruity group so in my last video that i posted which was on group and today today is time to review what is the klein's four group so mr felix klein so the question was that whether there exist non commutative and commutative group I mean non cyclic and cyclic group of order 4 okay and that answer was given by Felix Klein so Klein created he was a German mathematician so he created a beautiful group which is called Klein group and it is normally denoted by the word V because of the German and it is an order 4 it is a group of order 4 but it is a non cyclic so let's see what really happened so at first uh, the mathematician name Klein K L E I N clients for group. So this is our topic today. The clients for and group. Okay. So the here the word for is very important. So what Felix Klein uh, did? So he just created a beautiful set. So let's talk about a non-empty set. Of course, we need to form a group, so we need to form a non commutative set. And he take this set like this. So he put an E, of course, we know this is the identity element. And then A, B, and then simply C. So this is what it's all about. So E, A, B, C. Of course, what is the cardinality of this? Is exactly 4. And he defines some relations and now let's talk about the relations he defined. So this is the non empty set and uh, the relation is like this. The composition of course uh, is a node. This is the composition. Okay and node is defined by this. So E compose A is again A exactly equals to a compose e okay and exactly the exactly the same thing will happen if you talk about the b and for c the exact same thing so it looks like that this element it is actually the identity so here e is the identity okay and so this is the composition with E and let's talk about the composition to the other element and the composition to the other element just defined by this okay let me check out so A compose B exactly equals to B compose A and what is this this is C so A compose C exactly equals to C compose A and exactly equals to because b is not there and similarly the other condition is okay so b compose c exactly equals to c compose b and exactly equals to a so this is the construction of course now we can see that everything is well defined and from here one insight can be can be verified normally is that what is the inverse of each element so if you talk about the inverse of this so let me talk about something else if you talk about the inverse so you need to multiply something to this element so that you get a so that you get e and of course this again equals to e and of course uh, this is a e not this so this is the a this is the identity element and of course a inverse is exactly uh, equals to uh, this Actually, here a inverse is exactly equal to a. Okay, and b inverse is equals to b, and c inverse equals to c. From this lesson, and now we need to construct the composition table of this group. Okay, not here.
and now we need to talk about the composition table and for this composition table so we need to use this scale so there are four elements as you know Okay, so it is complete. So this is the node, and this is the identity element A, B, C, E, A, B, C. So if you talk about E and E, so it is exactly E A means A, B and C. So it is also A, B and C. So if you talk about this uh, diagonal, so diagonal is all about this triple E, and A B means C. So C A means C A B and AB means C and AC means B and CB means it is A and BC it is again A. So this is the composition table. Okay, so this is exactly the composition table here. <coughs> And I think I need to add something more is this here it is actually the postulate this thing means a square equals to e equals to b square and exactly equals to c square so this is actually the postulate here this is all all normally it is accepted okay this is just a proposition and this actually forms a beautiful group and of course the group is uh, commutative but uh, it is not the cyclic group so this is the claims for group and clients Normally, and it is denoted by this V. Okay, and this is exactly is not is abelian means commutative. Okay, so this is commutative. Exactly, it is commutative. So that's it for today and hope you join me in my next video so next video is all about uh, something special it's all about uh, a group of order four exactly just like clients but that group is a cycle group okay and of course thanks for watching and if you really like this video and if you think that this is helpful to others then please share it and if you're new to my channel then just subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any videos I upload on my channel and of course again thanks and have a happy Monday.